The truth is, I only have two ears, which means I can only listen to two albums at once, so I'm not able to listen to every single one of your SoundCloud mixtapes. And because of that, I need to make a video like this, where I go over everything for the month that I didn't review. My name is Bradley, I have a bread taste of music, and I'm going to run down a bunch of albums, give them scores, and make sure that I just don't miss out on them. If I forget something, boo hoo! You don't know how tough it is to make videos. Got it? Okay, cool. Let's go. First album, Jeff Rosenstock with Post with the hyphen on it. Because I'm really unfamiliar with Jeff's work, this album left me with not a lot to say. I did end up enjoying it a little bit. It didn't strike me as phenomenal, but it's reasonable post-punk. I'd definitely say check it out. See if it's for you. But it was definitely overshadowed by Shame's album, Songs of Praise, for me. That was the album I covered instead, but this is still a 6 plus. Certain Creatures, Nasaya Tsuka, this is an EP that was just ambient techno music that I checked out, and honestly, it's alright. There were just a few questionable decisions with drums here and there, and overall, it felt a little hollow, gimmicky, unpolished, but at the same time, also vast and really pretty. I mean, there's a really large soundscape, so yeah, check it out, overall. It was age is six. Maxo Cream Punk and I talked about this album a little bit in my Migos review. It's a really solid trap release. I think it has a lot of sticking power and it goes through a lot of interesting paths. It's pretty personal. I like the catchiness of it. He gives good hooks. Only problem is that he's very staccato, you know, the same throughout the entire thing. Still recommend that you check it out. This is a seven minus minus. SIR November, uh, it sounded pretty. It had no personality, but it sounded pretty, so it's a very low six. Porch is the house. Okay, this was probably the first album I've heard this year where I thought it was recorded front to back with the guy jerking himself off the whole album because this art pop is so pretentious and his head is so far up his ass and it just makes for a really boring album. It was a five minus minus, like just did nothing. Django, Django, Marble Skies. This is actually a really good album. It has some super catchy indie pop. It really stuck with me and I didn't want to make a whole video for this because I didn't feel like there was a ton I could talk about, but I just say check it out. There's a lot of really clever writing, the instrumentation, there's a lot of cool patterns and it's really solid for the 10 tracks that it is. And I just keep coming back. I really like the songs on here. It's a very high seven. Nils From with all melody. If you look into many of the perfect ratings for this album on albumoftheyear.com, you notice that like these accounts have only rated like one album ever. And I'm not saying that there's some fraud here, but you know, it's not looking good. All I know is I checked out this album and it sounded promising. Like the album was nice when it droned, but when it turned to techno, I moaned. That's the way I'm gonna put it. It's a six minus. Borns, Blue Madonna. It's all right, it's a high five. I hate myself. First Aid Kit Ruins. I heard the single Ruins. I really liked it. It was very pretty. It reminded me of something like Susan Sun for, but for the entire album of this, it just wasn't really doing it for me. It's this full country sound that got a little tiresome after a while, but it's still a pretty album. Uh, every song sounded a little just too similar for me. It, it was just a six for me. I still recommend it. Cruang Ben with Con Toto El Mundo. This is some very pretty, delicate Spanish psychedelic guitar music. Very chill, very laid back, very simple, but extremely catchy. Super sweet from front to back, a great listen. I'd say seven plus. Portal Ion, eh. I, I really hate the drums on this album, I do. I hate the drums on here. They're, they're just so annoying. The whole album has this really ugly aesthetic, even though it is sinister. I left liking it a little bit. It just did really nothing for me. It's a six minus. Lil Wayne Dedication 6 mixtape. Uh, I checked it out, I tried listening, didn't really care for it. As simple, I, I didn't get all the way through. I'm not a huge Lil Wayne fan. Sylvan LeCue with his album, apologies in advance. The thing is, is this would be a good album, like a pretty decent album, if there just weren't so many skits. Every single song ends with people in a circle talking, and uh, it's a cool idea, a cool concept, but when I'm just trying to listen to an album, it became so annoying. And I, I mean, I have to sit through all these skits just to get to the songs. I really did like the songs. The, the skits really dragged this down substantially. But there definitely were a lot of influences you pulled from that I noticed. There was like Kendrick Lamar and Frank Ocean. Definitely an interesting project. I'd say look at it. It's probably gonna hit you more than it hit me. I'd say it was a six plus for me. And last but least, Tiny Moving Parts with Swell. I'm at halfway through the first track. Um, this album is so annoying. Uh, this is just pop punk. 
and it's really uninteresting for me. This, this is some good teen drama music. If you're part of that squad, like the ARTV squad, ARTV gave this a nice 3.5 out of 5, which means you know it's gonna be awful. Just kidding, I love you, buddy. Please stop ignoring me on your damn live streams. I'm trying to ask real questions here. No hate towards ARTV, though. His scores may be questionable at times, but... You know, he, he may call everyone a total fucking asshole and he can't take criticism back, but you know... Actually, that's bad. Yeah, you can't really be a critic of not only music, but people. And you can't take someone saying that you gave Blurry Face a 9 out of 10. Um, anyways, my name is Bradley. I just ran through all these albums. Make sure you subscribe and notifications. Check out that Patreon. Go to Twitter. Do all that stuff. Love you. Peace. Bye. You know.